with Central New York's most accurate forecast. 614, it's still sunny, dry in Syracuse, but the Pompey camera again showing precipitation trying to fall from the clouds south and west of Pompey, and the radar bears that out. It's kind of a narrow zone that we've been really watching for the last hour and a half, tracking from uh, west of us across the Finger Lakes and just south of Syracuse. You know, there may be a quick little downpour, but it's not going to last for very long. You know, some showers around uh, Auburn, as close to uh, downtown as uh, Marcellus, and then it extends over. Over toward Tully, Pompey, and then stretching into Madison County. This will be around for another couple of hours and then work its way to the south once you get toward uh, sunset. Here's the almanac. We didn't have that a half hour ago, but 57 degrees, the high temperature. I know it's not as cool a start to the month of May as it was last May, but one thing we've done this May that we didn't do last May, this is the seventh straight day with a high temperature only in the 50s, normal high in the upper 60s. 39 the low, just a trace of precipitation at the airport. We're 55 with the sun here, but cooler to the south. 48 in Cortland, 49 in Binghamton, 48 in uh, Watertown. There have been some showers around there as well. And the wind gusting again past 20 miles per hour in Syracuse. Some places close to 30, like Fulton right now at 30 miles per hour. The winds well, gradually coming down after sunset this evening. Trough of low pressure, that's going to lead to a couple more showers here as you get closer to midnight, dropping to the south. And you notice those showers increasing across parts of the St. Lawrence River Valley. Uh, high pressure that building. Building in from the west, and that will influence our weather from Wednesday into the end of the week as well. So here's your time cast. There are those showers south of Syracuse. Notice how they fizzle very quickly this evening, and then that next batch of showers moving in here. You know, sometime close to midnight. You know, temperature here in Syracuse still close to 40, but up in elevation where it's in the 30s, there may be a little bit of snow mixed in. But by the time you wake up tomorrow morning, just some lingering clouds. Temperatures are in the 40s. Our high temperatures tomorrow with sunshine. Will probably be in the upper 50s to low 60s. Now, from Lyleville, Rome, Vernon, Hamilton, places like that, there may be a spotty shower in the afternoon. After that, high pressure leads to a chilly night tomorrow night. Could be patchy frost again in outlying areas, but more in the way of sunshine here for Thursday. And temperatures are going to be moderating here for the end of the week. And this 8 to 14 day forecast will take us into the last full week of the month. Above normal temperatures. Greater odds of seeing that across a good chunk of the lower 48. Here's your planning forecast now. Tomorrow, still a little cool, 62, a little breezy as well. Less wind on Thursday, 67. For Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, sun and clouds were upper 60s. You know, I'm not going to rule out a spotty afternoon shower over higher elevations. Some evening showers by Monday, and then better chance for showers on Tuesday.